So what we have these one hour lectures is something those little little niches which we can establish in your heart that might make you something which you can't even imagine you're meant to do. But what I say to all of you is there is a part in your mind that might be very unstable, not at all serious, not taking anything, you know, taking most of the things for granted. And that's life, that's okay, that things happen. But remember one thing, Bacho. There has to be a part in your mind, even at this beautiful age when you yet haven't experienced the most venomous and the most poisonous part of life, that life is hard. Even Allah says life is hard, it's tough, it's gonna knock you down, it's gonna ground you down real bad. To find yourself and to claim your entity and to discover the real potential God has given you, it takes a lot. It's, it's, gonna, it's walking through fire, but that's later, not now. But my point and my tip to the future leaders of my country and the future scholars of my motherland is that there has to be a percentage in your mind that you should never joke around and you should never be non-serious about it and that is who you are you should be very seriously concerned who you are and what you're gonna be don't ever let anybody in this world make a joke out of that 20-25% of that seriousness in your mind who you are, what you are, what are you supposed to be, how do you look at yourself and how do you want the world to look at you and then again how do you want God to look, to look at you, how do you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to look at you because Allah says Ana in the vanni abdi bi. I am according to the way you perceive about me, the way you perceive me that's the kind of attitude you will get from God as well but if you so, and even this is what the beautiful part of this universe is it responds according to your responses to it Allah says lakum I created this entire creation for who? Kum is a pronoun in Arabic for you Sakhara lakum this universe was created for you for, for you beautiful people for us, for human beings it was created and in the Arabic meaning of Sakhar you can say it was created or it was meant for you to harness it mold it use it to get actualized in this world to claim your leadership so this world is waiting for you to, res to respond to what you have in your heart for it and God is waiting for you to respond back the way you respond back to him and the most biggest resource, the most healthy resource and the most powerful resource you have in being something in this life, being meaningful, is you. If you do not know yourself, you're never going to cross that checkered flag, that place that your heart would say and the world would say, man, he's pulled it off, he's good, he's done it, he's the man. But that's not, this walk is not an easy walk. It's a hard walk of life. In fact, the most meaningful walk and the most significant walk of life, sweethearts, is the walk you make alone. Nobody is there with you. you. Because when you have dreams and when you have visions to bring down the mountains under your feet, to bring the heavens under your dreams and your visions and your dedication and commitment, with what you believe should have been done, the world won't recognize you. The world won't acknowledge you. Your own people standing next to you will not believe in your vision, your dreams. And they would want you to live a life less or not less ordinary like them. Like what they were in this world. So a time comes in life to be something larger than life. To be something which not e not nobody in this world expected from you. You need resources. You need to know yourself, who you are. Because when you're exhausting those resources, to be that one which nobody even dreamt of, being a Pakistani or being a Muslim or being a human as well, there are different identities you carry in your own self. 
and if you actualize and realize all of them you're going to be invincible one day inshallah nobody can nail you down and nobody can beat you down on that floor of competition of life where everybody has to perform life is a stage you got to perform on it but when you're performing you need resources to build life and the biggest resource you have is allah but the first resource that starts is you allah 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 says to musa alaihi salatu wasalam throw the stuff i will open the 12 the 12 paths in the ocean that's my job to do but you do your first as well just do it even for the 5% throw the stuff musa samandar hum kholenge but you do the sunna of being a man is you need to make an initiative kadam badao but what happens is when you're trying to pull a big vision in life when you're trying to pursue a dream nobody has magic you're going to fa- face a lot of naysaying and the biggest naysayer in this world lies within you in punjabi in our language there is a very beautiful word a very beautiful sentence that has destroyed so many beautiful dreamers you can't imagine buthi dekhi apni that is an amazing sentence i would say but it has destroyed such big leaders you can't imagine all right i'm just flexing a muscle so that you don't start chit chatting don't concentrate at the person sitting next to you i should be the most important person right now in your life because i've got something for you don't look here and there so you know when they built such a sentence they said buthi so you know the gora came up with a very seasoned cultured answer you know if you're pointing one finger at someone there are three fingers pointing at you as very cultured huh? so the punjabi came up with very beautiful stuff they put the four fingers out and again said buthi dekhi hai <laughs> you get the point jokes a point when you're trying to do something good sweethearts people will not accept you you will not your own self will not accept you so you need to be very clear and focused who you are and that brings in the million dollar question the identity crisis we are facing who am i am i a desi or am i a yo you know am i a westerner am i an easterner am i a muslim am i a non muslim am i supposed to be an orthodox muslim or am i supposed to be progressive muslim gender based inequalities in a life i am a woman am i supposed to dream or not males brothers over here students men sitting over here boys am i supposed to do something or it's the identity crisis because of which the power of your muscle it's going to go down because when you're walking towards your vision and your dreams in life you're going to get tired very tired your muscles your body will not work in accordance with your heart but where the muscle fails bache it is a spirit that carries you along and for having a larger than life spirit you need to come out of doubts you need to come out of desires you need to come out of confusions al istirab muzabzibina bayna zalik la ilaha hawla wa la ilaha you don't have to be left and right you need to be where you need to be so you have to ask the most difficult question am i what the world wanted me to be am i what my friends wanted me to be am i what my parents wanted me to be or am i what my heart says i should be no man in this world beta is a waste 